10. Cruel and unusual reality TV shows from around the world. Number 10. Prize Contest Life. Prize Contest Life was a bizarre late 90s Japanese take on The Truman Show. Nasubi, a 23-year-old Japanese man, lived in an apartment that was completely bare except for a telephone, magazine rack, and coffee table. There was no bed, TV, cushions, or even clothes for him to wear. The aim of the game was for him to win as many items as he could by entering as many competitions as possible. He applied for the job under the understanding that if he was successful, the footage would be edited and shown as a segment on a different program. What he didn't know was that he was the show. Over the course of prize contest life, he won a variety of random items, such as tickets to a Spice Girls concert he couldn't leave the apartment to see, a pair of ladies' underwear, the only clothing he had for the show's whole run, a bike he couldn't ride, a watermelon, some bags of rice, golf balls, duck meat, and much more. Months later, the show was a huge success, prompting the producers to hire a staff of 50 more people to make sure Nasubi's genitals were censored at all times. When Nasubi finally managed to reach the goal of 1 million yen, he was flown to Korea, where he was to enter yet more competitions to pay for the price of his fair home. Eventually, after 15 months of isolation and with no idea that he was famous, Nasubi was taken to a TV studio and led into what he thought was an empty room. On live TV, in front of 15 million people, the room collapsed and revealed a naked and bewildered Nasubi to a studio audience. Number 9. Man vs. Beast the premise of Man vs. Beast was to pit humans against animals in various tests of skill and athleticism to see who would win. If you guessed exactly how that idea would pan out, then congratulations, you're officially smarter than everyone involved in pitching and developing this idea. Unless the competition between humans and animals is who's better at having opposable thumbs, the animals will win pretty much every time. Man vs. Beast was not unreasonably accused by several animal rights groups of animal cruelty, in addition to being accused by everyone else of being being crass, sensationalistic, and downright dangerous. It also looks like a deleted scene from The Running Man. Among the highlights of the show was a passenger plane pulling contest between an Asian elephant and 44 midgets, a sumo wrestler in a tug of war against an orangutan, and an eating contest between a man and a Kodiak bear. Number 8. Dada Girl Dada Girl is an Indian game show where contestants are bullied and humiliated throughout their attempts to win a cash prize by the show's three dadas, bullies. In 2008, a video emerged online depicting an episode that had gone badly wrong. The video, usually titled How Can She Slap, features a man being bullied by a game show host who then goes on to slap him. After slapping her back, he's then assaulted by a crowd of more than a dozen men while he keeps shouting, How Can She Slap? The contestant went on to launch a lawsuit against the show, claiming that although a fair portion of the show was scripted, he didn't agree to be slapped in the face on live TV, and the subsequent beating was very real. Number 7. Armed and Famous 2007's Armed and Famous features several C-list celebrities training to be real cops. Latoya Jackson, Eric Estrada, Wee Man, Jack Osborne, and Trish Stratus. After their training was complete, they went on to patrol with real police officers and visited real crime scenes. The show was cancelled from CBS primetime and moved to another slot on VH1 for a short run, but was then the center of a lawsuit after a woman claimed that her home had been entered illegally by several police officers, Latoya Jackson and Jack Osborne. Not the sort of thing that happens every day. Another incident involved Eric Estrada shouting at a stabbing victim who confused him with Emilio Estevez. What a classy bunch. Number 6. Who's Your Daddy? In Fox's Who's Your Daddy, the contestants were adoptees looking for their birth fathers. But it wasn't that simple, because there were eight fake fathers whose job it was to mislead the adoptee into picking them. If the adoptee did so, the fake father got all the money. Yes, they had people going through the emotional turmoil of finding out who their parents were, and it was turned into a game show with $100,000 on the line. It's hard to think of a more cruel and pointless show than Who's Your Daddy? When it aired in 2004, it was inundated with bad publicity and poor ratings, and was quickly taken off the air after only one episode was broadcast, proving that even reality TV fans have their limits. On the off chance you actually want to watch it, you can find it on YouTube. Number 5. There's Something About Miriam the Something About Miriam was a British dating show with a twist. Six single men competed for the affections of the titular Miriam and a purse of £10,000. For three weeks, the men entertained Miriam, went on dates with her, kissed and cuddled, etc. At the end of the show, Miriam chose a winner and revealed her secret. She was born a man. 
While the cameras rolled, the contestants put on a stoic front, but apparently afterwards one broke down in tears while another punched one of the show's producers in the face. The show's contestants ended up suing the show before it could be aired. The producers pointed out that even though they'd never specifically said that Miriam had once been a man, the contestants had all been attracted to her before the reveal. Probably none of this was any good for Miriam's self-esteem. Number 4. Tor the purpose of Tor is for several contestants to complete various puzzles. If they lose, they're dropped an indeterminate distance into a chasm which opens up underneath the play area. It's hard to tell, but the Japanese show might have been less of a game show and more of an interdimensional leakage from a parallel reality where people are captured and taken to a huge dystopian puzzle-fueled death factory and forced to compete in lethal contests. When the alarm bells start ringing in the show and the ground rolls back, the drop that opens up looks infinite, and when people fall, there's no way of seeing where they've gone. It's hard to believe anyone could get away with this sort of madness in the West without getting sued. Number 3. Naked Jungle in 2000, the UK's Channel 5 released a show called Naked Jungle. It featured an out-of-shape former children's TV presenter and several contestants competing in various physical challenges while all stark naked. People who tuned in for nakedness were disappointed by the choice of contestants, while people who tuned in to watch contestants clamber over obstacles were disappointed by how tacky it was. Naked Jungle was critically panned by everyone and even debated in the House of Commons, with the Daily Mail claiming that the show plunged to new depths. If the Daily Mail is criticizing you for appealing to the lowest common denominator, you know you failed terribly. Number 2. Kid Nation Kid Nation aired in 2007 and lasted one season. The premise was to see what would happen if 40 children between 8 and 15 years old were taken to a privately owned town and left mostly unsupervised for a number of weeks. During the course of the show, the kids managed to govern themselves fairly effectively and not turn to Lord of the Fly style savagery. They cooked and cleaned and carried out repairs and chores, mostly without issue. However, there were allegations of child abuse and endangerment after several children were injured. A few children had to seek medical attention after accidents accidentally drinking bleach, and one received facial burns after attempting to cook, and the show was panned by critics who claimed it was irresponsible and dangerous. Number 1. Space Cadets in the British show Space Cadets, a team of 11 regular members of the public applied to be the first reality TV show contestants to travel to space. Over the course of two weeks, they were trained at an undisclosed location until the big day when they entered a shuttle and were shot into space. Except not really. It was all a ruse. Their spaceship was a model in a television studio designed to look and feel like the real thing. Upon re-entry into Earth's orbit, they were placed in what they thought was a landing module, which split apart and revealed they were actually in front of a live TV audience, laughing at them for falling for such a ridiculous premise. Oh man, said one of the cadets. We're not astronauts. We're just asses. Yes, you are. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button in the top right. Our channel has loads of other awesome videos just like this.